Hello everyone! Happy Esther Day! Here in Nerdfighteria, it is the day where we tell people that we love that we love them, even if we sometimes forget to tell them that we do in fact love them. So earlier today, I got a text from my mother wishing me Happy Esther Day. Now, if you're familiar with my mother, she is actually quite well known, uh, particularly in the Australian Nerdfighter blog, as Mama Nerd, where she dispenses the wisdom of being old enough to have a 24-year-old daughter, and you'll get no more information than that out of me. <laughs> and just generally being a cool and accepting older person, which some of the younger people around who don't have cool and accepting elder people in their lives really appreciate. But the thing is, it kind of made me think, because my mother, being my mother, has always been the one to introduce me to things. She introduced me to musical theater and to my favorite authors and to many, many other things that I'm incredibly passionate about these days. And it's only been a very new development in my 24 years of life that I've actually started to get into things independently of my parents. I mean, being a nerd is not accidental. This is not something that happened independently of my parents. This is something that happened as a direct result of my parents. Yeah, let's just say that somebody in the household owns the complete Babylon 5 and Red Dwarf and Stargate DVD sets. None of those are owned by me. I really like my parents. But this them introducing me to a thing has been the standard issue. But I introduced my mother to Nerdfighteria. This is something that I discovered completely independently of her or dad or anyone. It was just introduced to me through the internet. And now my mom's reminding me of one of Nerdfighteria's major holidays. So mom is now into Nerdfighteria totally independently of me. But because I introduced her to it. Which, in a roundabout way, means that I'm growing up into an ind independent human being? Am I grown up? There's a pony in the background. Are you kidding me? I'm not a grown up? But I am independent. I mean, I knew that already because I live in a totally different state to either of my parents. I, you know, pay my own rent. I have jobs. I live in my own place. But this means that my likes and my tastes are growing independently of those people who first to help them develop. And not only is it growing independently of those people who initially helped it develop, it's then reflecting back. So, which is really cool, because my mom and my dad made me the person I am, and now that person is going back and having an influence on them. And it's also really cool because my mother is an incredibly cool person. I don't know if you guys are lucky enough to have one of these kind of parents, but she's somebody who doesn't just say, Oh, you're interested in the thing, that's cool, good for you, run along. She goes, Oh, you're interested in the thing, tell me about it. And she legitimately wants to know why I'm into a thing. Which is what happened with Nerdfighteria, she went, You posted this video on your Facebook. Tell me about it. It seems interesting. And then that was John Green, and then she watched more, and then as happens in Nerdfighteria, you get sucked into the bottomless pit of this wonderful community. And it happened when I asked her to help me cosplay for Supernova, and I said, Hi, I'd like a scarfy, and I'm going to sew it myself. And she went, No, you don't have a sewing machine. Buy the fabric and I'll sew it for you, because that's just smarter, because there's just a lot of things to sew on this sucker. And yeah, at this point, I'm just showing off my scarfie because he's freaking cool. But then, instead of just making scarfie, she went and checked him out. And checked out what was around him in Very Potter Musical. And she likes Very Potter Musical now. And not only that, she discovered that scarfie had a buddy. And she asked me if I wanted her to make Sorty while she was at it. And I said yes. And I didn't ask for this. My mother volunteered. And now they're a couple and they're together and both totally alive. Because my mother cares about the stuff I'm interested in. Because she spent years influencing my development and now she wants me to influence hers. And 
it just means that we've got a really cool relationship, not just as somebody who gave birth to me, but also as my mother being somebody I like as a person, and me not just being somebody that she gave birth to. She actually likes and cares about how I think and about, about me as a person, and that's one of the relationships I value most in the world. So, happy yesterday, Mom. I love you, and if you guys are having problems with your relationships, I guess one of the biggest things that I've learned from this mini epiphany I've had today is care about the shit that the people you care about care about, and try and help the people you care about care about the shit that you care about. I hope that made sense outside of my brain. Happy yesterday. I love you all dearly, and I'll see you next time.